Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of acute hepatitis. A 9 year old girl came with fever, nausea and vomiting, right upper quadrant pain, yellowish discoloration of skin and sclera. As dengue fever is very common right now in Dhaka, the patient was checked for dengue fever but all the results gone negative for dengue. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the section of the liver. You can see the gallbladder also. The gallbladder is contracted but the wall is thickened and edematous. This is a very common finding in dengue fever as well as in acute hepatitis. If you look at the texture of the liver, it looks relatively darker. We'll try to compare it with the right kidney. But if you are familiar with the ecotexture and ecogenicity of the liver shown in your machine routinely, then you easily can understand the difference between the normal and abnormal. In my regular usage of machine, this appearance is obviously hypoechoic. And if you look carefully, the portal veins are well visualized here. You can see tiny portal channels all over the liver. This is known as periportal cuffing or periportal prominent echoes. The liver is diffusely hypoechoic due to edematous condition, so the walls of portal veins are looking quite brighter. Here is a magnified view and you can see the gallbladder wall looks thickened and edematous. And if you look carefully, you can see tiny hypoechoic structures at the porta hepatis region. These are subcentimetric lymph nodes at the porta hepatis region, which might be seen also in acute hepatitis. Here's a still picture, the gallbladder wall is thickened and contracted. The wall thickness is around 7.6 mm. Here's another picture showing the lymph node. Now here we try to measure the liver. No matter how you measure the liver, this liver is enlarged for this age and body status of the patient. It measures around 12 cm. If you compare the ecogenicity of the liver with the right kidney here, it looks quite similar but if you magnify the image a little bit then you may differentiate it to be a hypoechoic liver. Here is another picture of the pancreas and the liver. The diffuse periportal cuffing makes it to be an appearance of starry sky. So we also call it a starry sky appearance. Here you can see the spleen of this patient which shows 9.7 cm in length which is also mildly enlarged comparing the age and height of the patient. So in summary, we have found mild hepatosplenomegaly. The hepatic parenchyma is diffusely hypoechoic. Portal triads appear markedly echogenic against the hypoechoic background liver, forming the typical starry sky appearance. There is thickened and edematous gallbladder wall, and we have seen some subcentimetric lymph nodes at the porta hepatis. So, these features conclude it to be a case of acute hepatitis. Now, the take home message. You should try to get used to with your machine before telling a liver as a starry sky appearance. It differs from man to man, machine to machine. So be careful about telling a liver starry sky in an unfamiliar machine. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.